searching for a suspect after a terrifying attack in Brooklyn. The NYPD says this surveillance video shows the man they are looking for. Investigators say he waited inside an elderly woman's home, held her up at knife point, and then raped her. CBS News Alana Gold is live in Brighton Beach with the disturbing details. Alana. Mary, the victim is 82 years old. Police say the suspect broke in through her side door, caught her off guard, and tortured her for nearly four hours. The NYPD looking for this suspect accused of a vicious attack in Brighton Beach Monday afternoon. Surveillance cameras captured him in front of the 82-year-old victim's home on Brighton 11th Street before and after the alleged crime that's put the neighborhood on edge. It's very bad what happened in this street. This is very bad. Police say the elderly woman was outside sweeping and left the door unlocked, so he snuck into her home at 1.30 and hid in the bedroom. When she went inside, the stranger supposedly held a knife to her throat and demanded cash, telling her not to scream. But she didn't have any, and the situation got even worse. I see police, ambulance. Everybody coming. And you didn't know what happened? No, I don't. Sources tell us the victim offered to cook for him so he wouldn't hurt her, and he stayed here for nearly four hours. Police say he allegedly tied her hands behind her back, threw her on the bed, then ransacked the room and sexually assaulted her. Um, Do you think she would have been able to fight off this attacker? She was a um, fine lady. She was more short than a um, kind of skinny. I don't think he could fight anybody. According to investigators, the perpetrator felt bad after the fact. He apparently brought her water and her medical alert button, then took off with an umbrella and a bag of her late husband's clothing and told her not to call 911. People who live here now worry he'll come back and target someone else. This is not good for, for Brooklyn, for the street, for everybody. We live in this nice country. It, this is happening in this, this, this disaster. Police say the victim was treated at the hospital and we're told she's doing okay, but there's no word on possible injuries. We're live in Brighton Beach this afternoon. Ilana Gold, CBS 2 News. Alana.